Will the big show with Will and Matt began today here on KTGR? Uh, Will Pelagic is my name. Matt Michaels is the man right here. He is the new co-host of the big show on KTGR. Opening day is in the books as well. Cardinals win, Royals don't. Your impressions on day one, Matt? Well, the Royals had a bullpen meltdown of sorts, so to speak. The Tigers able to win it in walk-off fashion with Alex Gonzalez and an RBI single. And the Cardinals, despite there maybe being some troubles, I mean, their bullpen was able to hold on, though they did let it go to first and third. I mean, is that going to be the adventure this year? That's one of the big questions I think about this team. Is it going to be... The rotating door, the fans all ticked off, the the game's blown that you didn't need to blow. I, I still have questions about that bullpen. The thing that gets me is the fact that it went to three cardinal errors, including the one by Matt Adams that extends the inning. They had a chance at a double play. Matt Adams drops the throw on the relay there. That was the third cardinal error, but Carlos Martinez does finish out the job to conclude the inning, and Trevor Rosenthal gets three very, very easy outs to conclude the ball game, and the Cardinals win one nothing. A lot of people were saying on our show yesterday that they envisioned the Cardinals for 90-plus wins, Royals somewhere in the 80 to 85 range. I have them actually pegged at 88, which last year wouldn't have got them into the world, uh, into the playoffs, rather. Do, do you see the Royals contending for a playoff spot? Well, they should be able to contend. I definitely think so. Now, will they be able to take the next step and get beyond that 88-89 because we went back and looked at the numbers and it would have taken 92 or 93 to be in the conversation Which meant, for the wild card. I mean, that, that is a testament to how good the American League was last year. Right. And the fact that the National League struggled to get... the, the That would have gotten you in in the National that League. Is, they struggled to get competent teams in that wild card race. Uh, they struggled to get five competent teams there in, at the end there. Yeah, and, you know, I think the National League Central might be that three-representative, you know, wildcard team again. You might have the Cardinals at a number one, then maybe the Reds and the Pirates are duking out again for two and three. The Reds are just so banged up, though. That's the thing that gets me about them. They are a team that right now is crippled. They don't have their full complement. They don't have their full complement with them right now, and I'll be wondering whether or not they ever will. And they've got a lot of guys who are on the downslope of their career, they're not a, a franchise that necessarily is looking forward. They're doing a lot of looking back. My bold prediction about the NL Central. The Chicago Cubs will win more than 70 games oh, this hog, season. Hogwash. They're winning more than 70 games. Had to get the homer pick in there. Uh, Matt Michaels, you'll hear more of him on the big My show. homer pick. Nobody's going to listen now. With Will and Matt. Because you outed me. Uh, well, you outed yourself. You outed yourself yesterday. You had yourself on the show yesterday. I told you to do it because I knew it was going to come out eventually. Well, you... I'm going to be fair. I'm going to be fair. The Cardinals are the best team in the Central Division there. Is that fair? That's very fair. Who's wearing the Cardinal hat, though? It... This guy. Hope you enjoyed the, the first day of the big show with Will and Matt, and we'll have many more to bring you from 4 until 6 on ESPN 100.5 and 103.1 KTGR and right here on KTGR.com.